有意。啊、嗯，他就鼓浪屿人，他三六年出生在这岛上，他现在在澳大利亚的墨本。当然，这些钢琴都是他从世界各地不同的国家去收集的，他运回来了七十架，分为两个展馆。嗯嗯嗯。不不同的这种都是不同国家制造的。啊，对，不不同国家的，他说不同年代的钢琴。嗯、the Piano Museum at Guangyu is the only place in China that has so many collections. Mr. Hu Youyi, a successful Australian Chinese, was its originator with his donation of about 100 collective pianos. There are many valuable pieces, including the color and color piano, made in England in the early 19th century. It was special designed with a candle holder on the frame for practicing in the night. The Rhenish piano is a centerpiece in the museum, made in Germany for the German royal family. The piano frame is made of quality walnut wood and has a unique carved detail. 像早期的钢琴，它白色的琴键都是象牙来做，因为当时比较早没有塑料，都用象牙来做钢琴的琴键。那黑键是乌木的，像这种琴掌架的外壳是木料，是上档的桃花漆木，上面的花纹都是天然的木纹。In addition, the famous Steinway and Sons, made in 1864, stands proud as being the world's tallest piano. Finally, the Marshall Mandel, whose design was based on the theory of the sewing machine, and the Broadwood, the automatic operating piano, are just some of the Mr. Who's personal collection displayed in the museum. Gulangyu Island, 18,000 square kilometers in size. The population, 16,000. One point of time in history. There were a total 600 pianos on this little island. And from the history, there were a total 200 musicians came from Gulangyu. And Mr. Hu, as the owner of the museum, is one of them. Xiamen is a peaceful city, the atmosphere of which is both charming and comfortable. Many seniors make use of the water's edge for their relaxation with a gentle stroll in the early hours of morning, whilst the young couples prefer to sit by the ocean and enjoy the romantic sunset. The weather in Xiamen is warm and humid. Winter is the best season for visiting. Come to Xiamen. 
Well, actually, I decided to become a shaman only like two months before I arrived here. I uh, decided to apply for a scholarship uh -huh. uh, because I just wanted to do some research about uh, cross-strait relations, economic relations, not politically. But just okay. Bit, you know? <laughs> How many years have you been here? Yeah, I've been living for four years. Yeah, I came in China in That's 19. That's a long time. That's a long time. So, but like the economic relations between Taiwan and, yeah. and, and Fujian. Yeah. Yeah. How do you like Xiamen for four years? What do you think? Yeah, from the beginning, I think it was a uh, really difficult for me. Mm -hmm. That is the life here. But after then, when I start my study and I found some friends, I think it was getting better. For me, it was like coming to Xiamen. It was mm -hmm. like I saw the palm trees, I heard the Minahua. <laughs> and I, and I, 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 I felt this this humidity, and and you know it was like coming coming like home to China, Taiwan, this this southern southern place. Okay, what do you study here? Uh, international economic law. Oh, okay, yeah. quite interesting. Yeah, interesting. How many foreign yeah. students in the class? In uh, yeah, I'm alone in my classroom <laughs> uh, between many Chinese students. Yeah. I alone, see. Yeah, so quite the pressure because you have to study Chinese first. Yeah, we have to take Chinese take classes other, first. That's a requirement. Take all the classes school. in Chinese. Yeah, in Chinese. And because in, when you join the department, you right. have to study. You do it in Chinese. So first, you have to take the Chinese classes. What's thing? Yeah, you do over there? I love game shows, talk shows, and stuff. And oh, wow. The one thing led to another. And and then I quit because everybody started recognizing me in Taipei. It was really, oh, really right, good. Yeah, that's good. Oh. Ocean is really, it's really close to me. It's like go out to the ocean. It's really nice. Here. Yeah, really nice. So you can just walk over there. Yeah, you can walk over sometimes. You know, the beach here, you look nice, you look nice, but the people don't care, don't manage. That's why sometimes it's. Xiamen University was established on April 6th, 1921 by the prosperous overseas Chinese, Mr. Chen Jiageng. It is the first secondary educational institute in Fujian province. There are two attractive features in Xiamen University that are well known in the student circle. The first is romantic, since the university is set right next to the ocean park and the campus was surrounded by water and woods. The second is a sport, the university constantly holds the national sport events aimed at the students. We captured many scenes of students enjoy the sport activities in the campus. It's tough difficult question. because it's a tough <laughs> question. You know what I mean? Because I lived in, in Taipei, uh -huh. in Taiwan. It was a big city. Xiamen is nice and, 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 and small, and the, the life is not as fast and, and ridiculous as in, as in Taipei. Mm. So it's not, not, not the same. I cannot compare it at all. I see. So this is okay. They're all different, different aspects of languages. Talking to the international students always helped me to understand the situation from a different angle. And the shaman seems pretty diverse in regards to people's perspective. Why do people in shaman like tea? Um, like tea, I think, a lot of reasons. For example, just like today, it's very hot, isn't it? So, sometimes because it depends on the weather also. And also, it's a hobby because of the history and the like tea for many, many years ago. Xiamen is famous for its substantial production of green tea, and the tea serving culture is becoming more and more popular. Oh, not this way. <laughs> I know good. you're thirsty today, it's very hard. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but it's not enough. It's not enough. What's the famous tea in Xiamen? Famous tea in Xiamen? Have you ever heard Tie Kuan Yin? Tie Kuan Yin? Yeah. 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 Visitors can find certain tea houses that provide a license in the art of a tea ceremony. I have just learned that 
professional tea drinkers have a total of 18 procedures to make a cup of tea. But the basic need is the same, hot water and tea leaves. No, <laughs> after you do this, the aroma will become lighter and lighter. If you drink just this way, it's more, more fragrant. You think so? Mm-hmm. That's not really good. It's really hot though. It's at 90 degrees, right? Yeah, but after you drink the hot tea, you feel cold down much better, right? The recognized Puto Temple was built in 1403 and destroyed by the Civil War about 25 years later during Ming Dynasty. In 1684, a general of Qing Dynasty created a landscape of 21,000 square kilometers to rebuild the Puto Temple. Some of the original design still remains today. Many local worshippers are fascinated by the Buddha's theory and magic power. On Guanyin Buddha's birthday, the service within the temple attracts a tremendous amount of believers. I was told that people often got accidentally burned by the sandalwood incense on the way to the main hall, and for this reason, recently, the temple management established a new rule to ban carry any incense on the site at that day. There are many mystery fairy tales that came from the Puto Temple during Qing Dynasty. For instance, there is a belief that Chinese medicine has unbelievable power to heal people after it has been blessed in the temple. Many elders brought in all kinds of food for hope of good fortune. The local worshippers certainly believe magic has happened in this holy land. Time for vacation! Come back again!